Uh, hi, Madhavi Lata. How are you? Fine, sir. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank Just you. tell me about yourself, Madhavi Lata. Yes, sir. I'm Madhavi Lata. I completed my graduation in BSc Computer Science from Yogyamala University with CGP a 9.1. In my graduation, final year, I was selected as CSR drive. There I completed digital marketing course also. But I am interested in IT field, so I am learning Python full stack in week. Okay, good. So, you are having any pause tools and you are having any achievements, you have to project them. If you are having all those things, you have to project them. Please. Yes. Okay, next. So, can you tell me about your certifications? You mentioned money. Certifications. Yes, sir. Mm, what are they? Mm. Internship certificate in Python and Government is providing rural development courses in okay. DDI, GKY schemes yeah. mm -hmm. in Nihar skill education. Kadapa, there I completed my internship mm -hmm. and basically in course Python in Okay, Nihar. good, good. Okay, no worries. Just tell me uh, how much you rate yourself in Python out of five? Three out of three. Okay, yes. so what is the use of variables? Variables are the building blocks of any programming language. Mm -hmm. We are, we are variables are used to store values. In programming language. Okay. What is happening behind the scenes if you store some value into the variable? Where exactly the value is stored? In memory location, sir. Mm -hmm. It is um, a pointing to, a address, to an address. That address is pointing the variables. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, what is the use of logical operators? Logical operators are used to combine multiple conditions. Okay. Can you write a small program to find the biggest number among three numbers? Yes. Yeah. Biggest among three numbers. Okay. Okay, good, good. I got your point. Very good. Yes. Nice. So, okay. So, what is the use of loops? If you want to execute some set of statements multiple times, we use loops. There are mainly two types of loops while loop for loops. Okay, good, good. Can you write a program to check whether a given number is Fibonacci number or not? I want you to check whether a given number is Fibonacci number or not. Yes. Okay, good, good. good. Yes, correct, exactly. So, yes, ma'am, correct. Okay. So, what is the difference between list and tuple? List is a data structure which is used to store heterogeneous values which follows order. It is mutable. Apple is also a data structure but it, it is immutable. Okay, very good. Except immutability and immutability, is there any other difference? Yes, sir. There is a performance difference. List is mutable, so we can add elements by taking some other time. We can retrieve that elements, it takes some time. How bit why? Extra time. Why? why it is taking a bit extra time? Because it is mutable, uh, that elements is storing in adjacent memory locations. In different different memory locations. If they are in adjacent memory locations, you can faster, you can make your faster, right? Yes. Don't confuse, there is nothing. Okay. What is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy? When you are copying an object into another object by using assignment operator, both objects are referring to the same memory location. We call it a shallow copy. Mm -hmm. When you are copying an object into another object by uh, both objects are when you are copying an object into another object, you are copying only elements, not the addresses. We call it a shallow deep copy. Deep copy, yes. Can you please give me an example for deep copy? Yes. yes. Don't confuse. Deep. Don't confuse. You are copying y into x or x into y? Y. Y dot x. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. No worries. Um, just tell me what do you mean of generator? Generator is a special function which is using yield keyword to return the values. Why it is using yield keyword? The fundamental behavior of, if you want to return multiple state, uh, multiple values, the fundamental behavior of the return is once it come back, in, once it will return, return it, will not, it will not come back. So, if you want to return multiple values, if you want to, you want to store that values in one place and then return back one info at one time. The in function point of view, it is wasted of memory. memory. So, we are using yield keyword. The fundamental behavior of the yield is once it will return, then it will go back and uh, resume the execution. Very good. Very good. But don't confuse and don't go fast. You just go slow. What is there? Okay, please. Uh, what do you mean of scope? Availability of the variable within the program is nothing but scope. Excellent. Very good. So, how many scopes are there? There are four types of scope. Global scope, local scope, non-local scope, built-in scope. Very good. What do you mean of closure? Remembering the state of the local variable outside of the function is nothing but scope. Closure. Okay, very good. Where we generally use the closure? What is the purpose of closure? For data security, we use closure. Okay, good, good, good. So, what do you mean of decorator? Decorator is, the decorator is the function which is used to add extra functionality to that function. 
Okay, no worries, no worries. Sir, don't feel tense. I understand, I understand. Don't feel tense. I will strike it. Okay. Decorator is a special function which is used to modify the output of the function without modifying the original function. Good, very good, very good. What is the difference between procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming? Procedure oriented programming is the following top down approach. Object oriented programming is following bottom up approach. Procedure oriented programming, we have less data security. Object oriented programming, we have high data security. Mm -hmm. Procedure oriented programming, we uh, we divide our program into functions. In object oriented programming, we divide our program into classes and variables. Okay, very good. What is the meaning of class and object? What is the difference between class and object? Yes, sir. Class is the collection of variables and methods. Variables are used to store the data, methods are used to process the data. Class is a plan, class is just a plan. Object is the real time entity. When we are creating object, the memory needed for the class will be allocated. Very good, excellent. Excellent. Uh, what do you mean of polymorphism? Same piece of code is behaving differently in different situations is nothing but polymorphism. Can you give me an example for the polymorphism? Yes, sir. Plus operator. Mm -hmm. It is uh, if we add plus in between two integers, it will give integer. If we add plus in between two strings, it will give the string. Okay. Behind the scenes, it is it is calling uh, underscore underscore add underscore underscore method. Okay. Okay. You have given me the question. What do you mean of magic method? Magic methods are the special methods given by Python. Variant starts with double underscore and ends with double underscore. Good, good. We don't need to call them externally. They will be invoked when some action happens. Okay, good. What do you mean of exception? Exception is the runtime error. Okay, okay. No worries. Exception is the runtime error. That's it. Yeah, very good, very good. So, how much you rate yourself in minus square out of 5? 4. 4. Very good. What is the difference between delete and truncate? Delete is used to delete uh, particular uh, data. The truncate is used to delete the entire table. Once we delete the uh, delete is also used to delete the entire table also. If we de uh, delete once, we can roll back. Truncate we cannot roll back because uh, truncate is a DDL command. DDL commands are automatic. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm just stopping here.